What is CITES? All it takes is being around the community for just a little bit of time and you will eventually hear this word. CITES is an international organization. It's uh, the uh, CITES stands for Convention on the International Trade in Endangered Species of Wild Fauna and Flora. And this is an organization that countries of the world uh, sign to and they say, okay, we are going to have you be the, the central hub of deciding how many uh, animals are going to be able to trade, uh, be traded over the year. And the reason why this organization was put together is because the countries of the world were concerned about species going extinct from over collection. And this can be for anything that comes from an animal, whether it be for the pet trade or for, say, leather trade, animal products, eggs, anything that deals with a living animal. Now, how does this affect us with chameleons and specifically panther chameleons? So CITES as an organization is going to be looking at scientific uh, population studies and is going to, uh, for say for panther chameleons, is going to say, all right, with this population density over this range, this species can be exported in this amount of, uh, of bodies and not affect the wild population. In the case of panther chameleons, the, the number's been about 2,000 to 3,000 a year. And the way this works is that Madagascar agrees with that number. Uh, say uh, tw 2023, uh, Madagascar is able to ship out 3,000 panther chameleons. And that's to the entire world. Now, Madagascar, uh, on its own volition, can say, no, 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 no. We think that should be 1,000. And then only 1,000 are going to go out. So uh, as far as the United States is concerned or any of the European countries are concerned, they will not allow more than 3,000 to come out and be spread out around the world. And likewise, uh, the countries like the United States can say, no, 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 no. You know what? Even though there's a CITES quota for that, we're not going to allow that species in because we think that it should be protected more. And in Europe, they've done this with other species of chameleons, like some chameleons coming out of Cameroon. Even though there's a CITES quota for it, uh, European countries say, no, we're not going to allow them in. Now, no organization or structure is going to be perfect. Uh, there's smuggling going on, and uh, there's countries that don't agree with CITES, and so they don't care how many come in. And yes, uh, chameleons are smuggled off of Madagascar and uh, go straight to countries that don't adhere to CITES. But overall, CITES has been effective in mostly regulating the trade and keeping animals from becoming extinct. Now, within CITES, you're going to hear the term CITES 2 and CITES 1, and these are levels of protection. CITES 2 means there are going to be quotas that countries who sign on to CITES are going to have to respect. Uh, as I said in Panther Chameleons, that's 3,000 uh, individuals for the year 2023. And if you want to ship Panther Chameleons across country borders, you're going to have to prove that you got them legally. So uh, right now, if you're in the United States and you want to send a, a Panther Chameleon up to Canada, you have to go through the process of getting uh, CITES paperwork and an export permit. And the Canadian has to get the import permit. And to get that export permit, you need to show the CITES documentation that proves that these came in legally. And this is why it's really hard to uh, send chameleons out uh, across borders is because how many of you actually got CITES paperwork with your chameleon? And many of us uh, get these chameleons captive hatched. And so uh, we'd have to go back to the breeders, but then the breeders got theirs captive hatched. And so uh, how far down the line did that wild caught animal come in that had paperwork that we can use to show that uh, this panther chameleon, even though it's been bred in captivity for 10 generations, I still need to show where the original panther chameleon came into the country. And this is why it's uh, usually not done to uh, export panther chameleons across uh, country borders. Uh, it does happen, but it takes a lot of work. All chameleons, except for one, are CITES 2. There is only one chameleon that is CITES 1, and that's Brookesia paramata. That is a chameleon from Madagascar. CITES 1 means there is no trade. 
and say you got some before the uh, chameleon went to CITES 1, and you can prove that you got them legally when they were CITES 2, you would still be denied. Now, as far as panther chameleons go, CITES gives a new quota every year. And for many decades, panther chameleons have always been on that list because panther chameleons are widespread across Madagascar. Now, that answers the question, what is CITES? But there is something that's very important that is now attached to CITES, and that is that CITES only works on species level. For example, in panther chameleons, all panther chameleons are first for pardalis, which means that the blue forms on Nosy Bay and the uh, yellowish forms on Sambava and the rainbow forms of Ambanja and the pink forms on, on Karami, these are all considered pardalis. And you can see that if I took 3,000 individuals from, say, the, the small uh, population on Nosifali, that's an island off the coast of Madagascar, I could very easily strip the entire island of uh, panther chameleons, and that form would then become extinct. But then you say, wait a minute, wasn't the CITES numbers put into place to protect these species from going extinct? And you would be correct. And this shows a flaw in the way that CITES is put together. It doesn't even recognize subspecies. So what about the Parsons chameleon, where we have yellow lip, orange eye, green giant, yellow giant, and Parson eye Christopher, which is a subspecies. All of those are exported under the Parsons uh, quota numbers. Those are different populations, and we could very easily lose one of those populations, they could go extinct in the wild if they are not broken up into different species. Now, what is the solution to that? And I'm afraid I don't have the answer to that. And that would lie within the scientists that are working to make CITES function. If you have a question that you'd like me to go over, you can send me the question on my Instagram account at chameleon underscore academy or else via email bill at chameleonacademy.com. Alternatively, you can come on to one of my live sessions, and I do two live sessions a week. Right now, my uh, schedule is on Tuesdays at 5 p.m. Pacific on Instagram, and on Saturday, I do a YouTube live at 12 noon Pacific. That's been my schedule for a while now, but just to make sure, go to the homepage of chameleonacademy.com and take a look right up at the top. I give my latest schedule there. Thank you very much for joining me. This is Bill Strand signing off, and I'll see you next time.